Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. One of the things that makes this salad great is garlic. So we're just going to smash this down and chop this up into small pieces. And I like to just add this to a small ramekin, pour olive oil right over the top, add a nice pinch of salt in there. And then when we get this mixed up with the spoon here, we can allow this to marinate during the duration of our preparation of our dish. Another distinct flavor in this recipe is bacon. And I'm going to chop several pieces of this into smaller pieces. And this is perfect. So we're just going to add those to a hot pan and get cooking on that right away. Now we've also got to make our spaghetti. So here I've got a pot of boiling water. I'm going to heavily season it with salt. And we'll go ahead and add the dry spaghetti. In the meantime, I'm going to chop some green onion, dice some Roma tomatoes, and in a food processor, I'm going to pulse some raw broccoli. You don't want this shredded too much. Something like this is perfect. Now we'll add all these fresh veggies to a bowl, followed by some sliced black olives, mayonnaise, and if you're not a fan of mayonnaise, you can just double up the olive oil garlic mix, which we'll be adding now. And you want to make sure you get all that raw garlic in there as well. Now a splash of balsamic vinegar, and some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Now if you don't have fresh, you can get away with using the powder. Just be sure to get everything mixed together until it's nice and creamy. By now our bacon should be about done. Looking pretty crispy. Let's check our spaghetti. Gonna do the old pole test. Maybe a few more minutes. Now I'm just gonna add the bacon to the bowl, get that stirred in. Strain the spaghetti. And some folks like to cold shock it with an ice bath, but I'm telling you, that's a mistake. Add it piping hot, right to the bowl, mix it all in like this, so that spaghetti can continue to absorb all those yummy flavors. And it's gonna take a few minutes to get it all worked in there. Those veggies need to go all the way through that pile of noodles. You might even conclude you want more mayonnaise if you feel like it's too dry. You can also salt and pepper to taste at this point. Just be sure to refrigerate this the night before or at least a couple hours in advance before you want to eat it. And there you have it. Spaghetti cold noodle salad right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.